There is this big misconception that modern neuroma is caused by weight gain activity or shoes when in reality those are just aggravating the inner mechanics of our feet and making things much, much worse. If you've been struggling with modern neuroma, be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video because I'm simplifying this mechanical issue so that you can truly understand what's causing your pain and discomfort. Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Kim and I'm a holistic podiatrist. While many think neuroma is caused by external factors, it's actually caused by a collapse of this transverse arch of your foot. Today I'm explaining what this means for your foot health to give you a better understanding of what's really causing the problem. Let's get right into the video. So let's look at what's actually causing the uh, neuroma condition, but this is what's known that everybody knows. If you go to the internet, if you go see a doctor, this is what they're gonna tell you, uh, that it is because of your shoes. When you wear high heels, all the pressure goes to the front part of the heel, and then when you wear those very narrow toe box, you can see these beautiful shoes, it was a really narrow toe box, you can really jam up that uh, part of the foot, and then that can cause neuroma. Also, your activities, your work activities when you're on your feet a lot, you're carrying a lot of stuff, you're climbing, you're doing a lot of uh, physical activities, which can cause it. Also, a lot of you are doing sports, which is a great thing, but there's a lot of pounding going on. If you're basketball or, or football or a lot of other, like even tennis, they're very uh, hard on your feet because you're putting a lot of weight into the front part of the foot. Also, if you've gained some weight, Every step you take, you're doubling or tripling your pressure on the ball of the foot, which is where the neuroma is that's aggravating this particular condition. Then really look at what's really causing the neuroma. Well, it is the collapsed transverse arch. There are three arches, but transverse arch is this one right here on the ball of the foot. It's going this direction. When that collapses, that widens the ball of the foot, which are these are metatarsal bones, and then that tightens up the ligament that's holding those metatarsal bones together, and then it irritates the nerve that's going right underneath that, that ligament that's irritating it. I'm gonna explain a little bit more detail with the foot model a little later on in this video, but it is causing irritation, and then when there's a swelling that's chronically going on, they can cause a benign tumor of the nerve. We call them Morton's neuroma. Then what is Morton neuroma? Well, it's discovered by this Dr. Thomas Morton in 1876. He was the very first one to describe what the Morton neuroma is. Then this is a, he called it a benign tumor of the nerve. This, there's this nerve that's inflamed. It's got a lot of scar tissue around it. And that's what's causing the benign tumor of the nerve from the irritation and inflammation and also a scarring of this particular nerve. Now, then where is this neuroma? I'm gonna show you on this foot model. There are these metatarsal bones, as you can see, these are the metatarsal bones and that are like this one, two, three, four, five. And then these have independent suspension motion, just like your tires of your car. They work independently. The first three work together and then the last two kind of work together in independent motion going this way and that way. And then when that happens, most commonly between the third and the fourth toe, where the motion is too much causing irritation and that's the most common area of the neuroma. However, this big toe has its independent motion as well, but there's a big gap between the first and the second toe, so the, the nerve is not uh, irritated and it does not cause the motor neuroma to come. However, I see last 30 years a lot of motor neuroma and not only it happens between the third and the fourth toe, but I'm seeing more and more people uh, have it between the second and third toe. But it's just as common, if not more common, as the other neuroma between the third and the fourth toe. And so I see a lot of my patients, when I, I examine them and press around this area, I see both neuroma on both second inner space, we call it between the second and third toe, and third inner space between third and the fourth toe. When people come see me, these are the symptoms, uh, exactly what they say. First. I feel like I'm walking on a marble. It feels like there's a huge mass. Every time you step down, you feel this big marble underneath the foot. They also say, when I'm walking and I have this, feel like I have a bunched up socks. You know, underneath this area, they have to literally take off their shoes and, and take off the socks and say, is this bunched up? And then they find out that it's not. And then also numb and tingling sensation. Because of the ner nerves become very inflamed, it causes a lot of inflammation, irritation. It causes numbing 
and also tingling sensation. Also cramping of the toes. When you'll be walking, it cramps up at nighttime or even during the day when you're walking a lot, putting a lot of pressure on there, that's when you get a lot of cramping on your toes at the same time. Now, pe people also say it feels like clicking noise. There's a clicking feeling around it because that mass is sitting in there. There's a lot of motion and it's click around the, uh, the bones between, between the toes. So that's why they're feeling a little bit clicking feeling on there. And when you go barefoot, especially in your shower, or if you're at home, you got hard floors on the bottom and they're going to feel a lot of, of the uh, pain underneath it because this nerve is underneath the foot. So it's very close to the skin underneath it. So if you don't have any cushion, like any sandals like that at home, or if you go barefoot a lot around the house or even outside, then it can really aggravate the condition. So now, how do you diagnose? When they come to see me, first thing I do, obviously I examine the patient. I will hold on to this foot and then I grab this whole area, all the bones, and I kind of squeeze a little bit and I press from this area and I press between the second and third and the third and the fourth toe right there. When I press it, they literally jump off the table. Then I know they have a really big, big neuroma there. We get some x-rays like this one to see is any stress fractures or other arthritis, other things may be causing this problem between the toes to make sure that that's not what's causing the problem. And then if I'm not sure if it's neuroma or not, most of the time I do because when I press on it, somehow they're literally jumping off the table so I know they have it. But if they don't, I'll get an ultrasound or MRI, which is not really conclusive, but it's another test that we can do to make sure they have the neuroma. Or sometimes I have to order a nerve conduction studies or electromyography, we call it, so that the nerve is coming from all the way from the lower back, we call them L5S1, lumbar number five, and sacral number one, that lowest part of the lower back. That's where the nerve is coming. We call them sciatic nerve. They're coming all the way be, uh, uh, behind your buttocks, all the way down to your legs, and to all the way to the toes. And, and between the toes, that's where I get irritated and get neuroma. So I wanna make sure that that's not, your back is really not causing this particular problems. And once in a long while, I'll see that it's caused by the back problem, but most of the time, is actually isolated right on the ball of the foot. Now, what is then the real cause? I wanna get a little bit more deeper into the real cause of neuroma. Most people think we just have one, but we have three arches. We call them medial arch, which is this side. This is a medial arch, uh, instep, which is the highest point of the arch. And then there's a little tiny arch on the outside. We call it lateral arch. And then the one that we really don't talk about is called the transverse arch between all of these bones. As you can see, it's the low here and then go up and up and down and down. This is kind of an arch that in there. And if you look at between the toes, that's holding these bones together. These are called the ligaments that are holding these bones together so that your foot doesn't get opened up and become wide. So that's the ligament. We call them intertar intermetatarsal ligament. That's, that's keeping the, uh, all the bones from spreading wider. That gets wider because these arches st started flattening down on the medial arch and the lateral arch. And then when this flattens down, that tightens up this whole area and causing the neuroma. So let's review the exact mechanics of this whole thing. When there's a collapse of this particular arch that we talked about in the, in the front part of the foot, where all the head of the metatarsals are, and that widens the metatarsals. And then what happens is that, that because of the widening, that tightens up the ligament between the metatarsal bone, we call them intermetatarsal ligaments, that gets tighter. And then there's a nerve that's going right underneath the nerve, uh, right here. The nerve is plantar nerve, which goes, gives sensation to all the toes on, on the bottom. And then they all go underneath between the toes, right underneath that intermetatarsal ligament. And because it's widening, as you can see, it gets really tight like a rubber band. And then the nerve is there and then that gets irritated. When it gets irritated, it gets inflamed and then it scars down over time. And that's what's called Morton neuroma. So if you see also like a bunions, you can see a bunion is over there, big toe. It's, it's sticking out like that and toes going in. You can see the bunion like that. That means the foot is getting wider. When your arches fall, this front part of the foot gets wider and it flattens down. So if, you, if I see a bunion or Taylor's bunion is on the other side, the fifth metatarsal. When I see that, that means the foot's getting wider right there on the transverse arch. 
that would irritate. So they kind of come together. If you have a bunions and teres bunions, then there's a higher chance of you getting more neuroma because that gets, ligaments gets tighter and irritates more that causes the neuroma to come. The other part is the hammer toes. Hammer toes are when the toes become like this, like a, like a hammer, like this one, like that. That's hammer toe. When that happens, it brings this metatarsal bones downward and then makes this also tight and then put pressure on that nerve which aggravates the nerve and can create more neuroma at the same time. So when I see hammer toes, when I see bunions, when I see teller's bunion, then I kind of assume that your arch is flattening down. On top of that, the metatarsal ligaments are getting tight and then that's causing the neuroma to form. So the other cause that we talked about obviously, when you have this condition and when you wear high heels like this, high heels like this, or your activities, you're running and jumping and a lot of those sports activities and with the high impact. And then the, when you gain weight, it's gonna put a lot more pressure on the ball of the foot. That's gonna actually aggravate the tightening of the ligament, spreading of the metatarsal bones, and then bunions and teller's bunions and hammer toes and all the other things in complex situation that causing more pressure in this area. And then the tightening causes irritation of the nerve. So that's the real cause of Morton's neuroma. Now that you're equipped with the correct knowledge of what's causing neuroma, you can treat these issues at the source to prevent any future flare-ups. If you struggle with Morton's neuroma, the next video is crucial for you to watch. In this video, I'm teaching you six holistic home remedies to no longer aggravate the issue so that you can live pain-free. See you there. Until then, get educated, be empowered, encourage others today.